It's an issue in many districts across BC. 19 high school jobs are open. I have, I believe, six K-1 classrooms that without a permanent teacher at this point. That's in Prince George, a district Beauregard says has dozens of uncertified teachers on call. Uh, you know, I could tell you that Roughly speaking, the North is does the worst uh, at uh, recruitment and retention. And our geography is a big factor in that. And cost of living isn't exactly cheap up here anymore either. The shortage is hurting bigger districts too, like the largest in the province, Surrey, where schools are doing whatever they can to fill the gaps. If they're not able to get somebody off of the spare board, a teacher on call, then they have to pull internally. So the first places that they pull from are learner support teachers, are librarians, music teachers. And so what happens to those kids that require the additional supports? They no longer get the supports. The province has added more than 250 teacher training seats in universities and is considering recognizing internationally trained teachers to help alleviate the labor shortage. But the BC Teachers Federation says the issue is a lot bigger. The view of teaching as a profession, um, I would suggest, has gone down over years. Uh, the compensation, the pay for teachers in terms of cost of living, so in terms of comparing to what your actual cost of living is, has not kept up in almost all jurisdictions at all. Um, and the demands of the job, there is more and more and more uh, being asked to be done uh, with less and less and less resources. It's tough to know how bad the shortage is overall. So Johnston is calling on the province to release the numbers, just like Quebec did. But the province is pushing back. The school districts are the employers. Uh, they know uh, they are the ones making decisions about the, uh, the staffing and the resources in, in, in a school district and in a particular school. So it is the school districts who would have these, uh, these numbers. Some districts do track, but not all. We got to make sure that staying in British Columbia and joining our public school system here is an attractive situation for recent graduates or people moving to this province. We can't afford to lose any more teachers. And I think if the province isn't collecting that data uh, you know, for the whole province, they're missing that point and they're not seeing where the trends are. The concern is without the overall numbers, moving forward and finding a solution will be a challenge one that may not be solved for years to come. Janella Hamilton, CBC News, Vancouver.